My name is Brittany Kinnemer. I'm the Promotions Director at Cox Media Group Athens. We're just super lucky to have a haunted radio station in our backyard. We are going to send our morning show host to give a guided tour with professional ghost hunters and see what we find. My name is Adam Baum. I am one half of Adam and Haley in the morning. Looking like, I don't know, I didn't read Facebook yet, but hold up. I have a feeling that more than one person saying that the old WNGC building is haunted means it's haunted. Based on what everyone has said, I think there's a really high chance. I'm gonna say like a 90% chance that something's going on in that building. My name's Haley. I am the other half of Adam and Haley uh -huh. in the morning. I believe in ghosts. I don't know if I believe in evil ghosts. I definitely believe that there are spirits, but I don't think I believe that they can like harm you. I hope. I do believe in them. I think they're out there. I just haven't seen one yet. So I'm waiting to see one. I was like, please tell me that I don't have to walk through the building. And then they said, yes, Haley, you have to walk through the building. <laughs> she won't hold up at all. Have an amazing day today. Turn us up. Ready for our big ghost tour, and Adam is not. Do you guys see the spider webs up there? Did somebody put that there? Hey, nice to meet you. I'm the morning show host on our country station, WNGC. Okay. This is Tim. He's our Hi, morning nice show host on WGA. He's the one that worked him. in the building for all the years. Okay. How long y'all been doing this? Been doing it 19 years. Yeah, well, nice I'm not. Of you to show up. I'm not as old as Sam. This is my co-host. He's a little What's late. What's going on? <laughs> Isn't it wonderful? We finally came. So far, fun stuff. So. We are outside of the Bob and Mill radio station. Everybody wants me to go in. I'm not going in. Forget about it. It's going to be spooky. It's going to be fun. Hopefully, everybody has a good time. No touching. No asking to be touched. If you feel something, hear something, say something. If you hear a voice. Or if we hear something, if we're listening to a spirit box and a voice comes across, do your best, please, to not freak out. It's not ghost adventures. Please. If one person see something, will everyone see it? No. Okay. Spirits like to just move around. They like to go to places. Yeah. If they find a spot they like where it's safe, quiet, empty, no humans, they like to hang out there. Mm -hmm. My guess is that basement doesn't get a lot of activity. Everyone that we talked to said, no, we don't go down the basement. Mm -hmm. Old Aspen, are you the least scared? Yeah. Least we scared. will make it out a lot. So many years on the road. I remember. I did that. You can even tell later. Like, you don't... Oh, I got a point five. Oh, I've been down here thinking wherever you stay, then just know it's just trying to scare myself. Ghost to nine. I've got a quick question, though. Did somebody bump the table? Did somebody bump the table or the cabinet? If so, you're not in trouble. Just say so. My name is Brian, and as you know, there's a large group of us down here. I'm not going to introduce everyone, but we're here to talk to spirits that are attached to this land, this building, or one of us. I already... We're just here to talk with you. Are we in your space? Do you live down here? Oh, sorry, I was talking. Do you feel like just touching the ball instead of answering questions? Thank you. My uh, left shoulder just got really cold. Is that you standing next to me? I'd just like to know. Make sure I'm not having a stroke or anything. Does the sound on this box annoy you? Did you see that? It shut off. So the filter I put on right now, theoretically, cuts down that sound and just only brings the voice. Do you feel like talking to us now? If you want me to turn this off completely, hit that ball and make it go off again. If you do, I will turn it off completely. What is that? That was a phone ringing. Yeah. Is 
sounded like an office phone. Yeah, yeah, it did. And I'm right next to the. This is the phone interface over here. Who made the phone ring? Are, you're trying what? You're trying to communicate? Does the number eight mean anything to anybody? Ten. Ten. How about ten? How old are you? Ten. You're ten? Yeah. Like ten? He's gonna be ten. The studio. The studio. We'll go up to the studio. Is that where you want us to go? Okay. So yes. Okay. We appreciate it. We'll yeah. go upstairs then. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I heard okay. like all of his voice. I like mm -hmm. every word he said. Good. Yeah. Said, That's clear. I, was weird. I got good hearing. Like, yeah. It was just like one ring. Yeah. Okay. So let's is go. Any yeah. spirits really love kids? Yeah. yeah. So we're gonna go across the aisle into a studio. Okay. Let's go to the WNBC. You should have asked him if he was back in the time where the Titanic crashed. All right. So I'm gonna fire it up. So everyone, okay. lights out, please. We are here to talk to the spirits that are attached to this land, this building, or us. No outside spirits are allowed. My name is Brian. Can you tell me your name? Do you like hanging out here in the studio where there's, or this building where there's music and, and entertainment? Sometimes. Is there two of you here? Or more? If there's two of you, can you touch one of these balls and make them go off? I know you know how to do it. You did it downstairs. When you said studio, did you say that just to get us out of the basement? No one's here to judge you or get you in trouble. Can you speak loudly? I bet you you could hear yourself on the radio. No, I mean, no pun intended, but it's dead. See, nothing to be scared of. Oh yeah, before you leave, just make sure you're very clear with you are not allowed to come home with me. Yeah, y'all should like do that. If you guys go down with us again, we'll just ask a few questions. I won't put Don't you know, say my name though. I get stressed out about that's that. That's fine. It's the combination with you guys. Yeah. yeah. Then they're, they're yeah, maybe they're, they're more yet. comfortable. Maybe. Please go. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you yeah. want to carry this? Um, Please go. Yeah. You you carry that. I can't we'll believe I'm we'll doing this again. Okay. So, we asked you a ton of questions. Do you have any questions you'd like to ask us? Are you hiding behind the child? Oh, you're in front of it. Oh, never mind. That one up this morning. It did? Mm -hmm. Okay. I feel. I feel. So are you near, you're nearby us then? I can feel. So when I was standing over here, I felt it too. Does anybody have any questions they want to ask? I want to know, do they want us to leave? Do you want us to leave? I do. Okay. So we just got done with the entire haunted tour. And thank you to the ghost hunting team. They were awesome. We're so thankful for having them out. And it was such a cool experience. They were awesome. And we're going to have them on the radio too. So, bam. How do I think the haunted tour of Bob and Mill went? I stayed true to myself and didn't go in. So I didn't do it, but I did hear that it was a success. I don't know if I can get Haley and Adam or Tim to go back in there, but we will absolutely run this promotion again. WNGC, your Georgia country. Hey, good morning, guys. Appreciate you getting up this early with us, which is tough. But as we know in your business, it's really not so tough. You know, I thought it was pretty awesome to be able to go into like a, such a historic place and see everything and then go actually down into the basement where everybody's talking about. I didn't expect us to find as much as we found. And now that I've had time to like process everything, I do feel like it's changed my opinion. We have a spirit box which generates white noise at 150 milliseconds for it changes the channel. I heard the number eight. So then I asked, does 10 mean anything to anybody? And Adam? My son is yeah. 10 years old. He looked at me like, okay, something's real. 100% I think it's haunted. 100%. And also, I know when you're hearing this audio too, it's it's difficult to pick out. It's difficult to really, if you if you hear it one time real quick, but it also is in the moment so real. When you're there and you're in the moment, 
it feels very real. There's no way you can deny it. There was a girl ghost, there was a guy ghost, they talked to us. Yeah. Yeah, Next it's... Halloween, you know, we'll, I'll call you guys, we'll talk, we'll chat, and then you guys will go on about your way. <laughs> well, I will not be going back into that building anytime soon for any reason at all. 1061 WNGC. <laughs> at the end of the day. We both made it all the way through the tour. We both went back into the basement after we already knew it was haunted, which I think surprised both of us. So I feel like we did a good job. She was a mess. From start to finish. Couldn't get out of there fast enough. Nothing.